All right, I'm joined alongside Hunter Meekins, who is the player of the night tonight. Hunter, you had a great outing tonight in your first start. How excited are you to finally get your first win as a daredevil? Yeah, it was good. I mean, first, uh, I've had a couple opportunities to get the start or get this um, win, but it just hasn't come through for me. But finally tonight, got to go out there and get six, six innings after. Even though I struggled the first two, uh, two or three, actually, but then come back, settle in, get it done. Hey, you only got about four days rest. Were you a little tired maybe to start off the first couple innings? Maybe a little... You know, try to get loose. I mean, honestly, I wasn't. I, I got about five, uh, six pitches in the pen before the game because uh, we were out there doing. They were doing the tarp and all, and I didn't have catching for a while. And then we got out there and um, finally got. Well, after a couple innings, we got loose and really felt like I settled in. Yeah, I mean, you retired the last ten batters you faced. Those last couple innings, did you really feel like maybe you could have gone even longer? Did you feel pretty locked in? Yeah, I mean, a after I got locked in, I was I was felt like I could have gone however long coach wanted me to go, but. He said I was done, so I'll give it over to the other guy. Let him do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was great to see uh, your college roommate and your roommate here in the Outer Banks, Kramer Steve, getting the save for you. He looked pretty yeah, good, too. Yeah, he was. He looked like he was bringing it tonight. <laughs> he did a good job. He did a save. Now, one of the things that has been a problem heading into the final stretch before the All-Star break was, our, was the defense. They were spectacular tonight. They made play after play. They were amazing. Chandler, I mean, Schumer, they, Chandler made that bare hand catch. That was amazing. I couldn't believe it. I mean, were you surprised? You think it's maybe because they got a little more rest and they feel more refreshed? Possibly. I mean, who knows? You know, 50 games in the summer after after the spring season, they can get tired, and I'm sure for his position players. Pitchers, you know, they got there twice a week at most. Relievers, you know, starters go once a week. For us, we get plenty of break, but for them, they... They're definitely out there grinding it out every day. Now, how, is it, how exciting is it for you coming from Manio, playing high school there, getting to play here for the Daredevils, a team that's been around for a couple of years, and getting to play in front of your parents and friends here for a team that you know you saw when you were in high school? Yeah, I mean, I, I was a bat boy for the Daredevils when my dad coached it first. I think it might have been first year, second year, something like that. So, I mean, I, I never really thought I'd actually get a chance to play for him, but now that I am, it's, it's great. It's a great opportunity. So it's good to finally get that first win. Yeah, it's definitely good to get that first win after after last game I fished and went out, gave up one run and got the loss. So after tonight, it was a good job. It was good to get a win. Now what's the focus coming in the last couple of weeks? It's, it's just the final stretch. I know there's a lot of games in a row. You yeah, guys we, feel like you're ready for it? Yeah, we, we just need to keep rolling and keep getting wins and keep getting ready for playoffs. So no, if we can win all that and win, win it all, you know. All right, Hunter, well, thank you for joining me. It was a pleasure having you here on the post game and Good luck in the future and a great job tonight. All right, thank you. All right.